are currently on our way to a little getaway staycation. We're on our way to Gather Green in upstate New York and we're going to be staying there for a night to catch the views and spend some QT with my QT. That's you. Yeah. I'm excited. Mike doesn't get excited for anything. I said, how excited. Is that an exclamation point? Yes. Oh. We're bound to have a good time. Why? Because we're in good company. Right, babe? Sure. You know what? I'll take it. Nick and I are blessed to have a loving and supportive family that encourages us spending a long time together. So for the two and a half hour drive up, we chatted, joked, and of course, checked up on the kids. So we made it. We made it to the campgrounds. Oh, am Jizzy. These cabins are so cute, so beautiful, so well thought out. But in the meantime, between time, we wanted to give you guys a tour and what there is to see and do at Gather Green. First up, tour. We'll get to the tour, but first, a message and moment with Nick. All right, Daddy, what are your first impressions? It's a beautiful campground. Why are you coming in so close? It's a beautiful, open camp, not a campground. It's a retreat ground. So <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a, it's a difference. What are you excited for most on our little staycation? I wouldn't really consider this a staycation, but I guess just relax and chilling. I know kitties for the night. And I'm yeah. One of the reasons I fell in love with Gather Green is because the cabins reminded me of tiny house living. And tiny house living has always been a little dream of mine. Hey, who knows? Maybe when the kids are older, we can sell all the stuff we don't need and take a tiny house on the road. Or maybe just a really swanked out RV. Just dreaming out loud. Until then, Gather Green's cabins gave perfect insight into what that could potentially be like. I forgot to show off the bathroom, which is where the camera was situated, but it was a nice size, well lit, and came with ventilation and heating, so no cold feet while on the potty. The design of the cabins are compact and functional. Our bags, equipment, clothes, and everything else packed away conveniently and neatly. Tucked away near the community of cabins is Gather Green's Quarry and Pond. It was a beautiful and serene sight, but it was also freezing. Given how nice the walk was during the winter, I can only imagine how nice it would be during the warm summer months. For all of you wondering what the cabins look like from the outside, and if the large window is transparent on both sides, it is. As I prepped to get ready for dinner, Nick explored more of the grounds and went into creeper mode. <laughs> One thing you'll find about Gather Green is that the grounds come alive at night with romantic rustic lights and emerging wildlife. We even saw a family of deer on the great lawn as we headed out for dinner. Oh. <laughs> I was craving a veggie burger. Thankfully, our hosts were readily available and prepped with amazing dining recommendations in town. Recommendations like American Glory, a classic American barbecue joint with class. <laughs> and they served a surprisingly delicious veggie burger. Like seriously, one of the biggest and tastiest I've ever had. The fries were pretty good too. So handsome by candlelight. And every other day. Aside from the cabins, one of the biggest draws to Gather Green is their open air pavilion. I'd always wanted to get married in a setting like this. Rustic, romantic, clean with modern vibes and surrounded by nature. But stay tuned, we'll be covering more on that later. It is freaking cold outside. I think I have hives on my thighs. It is so freaking cold outside. I think I'm getting hot. It's a thing that happens to me. I get highs when it's too cool. But it feels so nice and so warm in here. It looks cozy in here because it is cozy in here. Day two at Gather Green. And it is a whole 28 degrees outside, but you would never know in here because it is so warm. It's so hot. You want to say anything, baby? Yeah, and it smells like woods. So here in the cabin, you can look out, see the sunrise. Um, they got all these ports that you can charge your phone, yes. the stubbies, the lights. The lights are mad cool during the night. Oh, 
But the best part by far, aside from waking up next to this guy, is this view. I'm typically not one to wake up with the sun, but Jace wasn't around, so I had to make time to pump. Thankfully, Nick set up this time lapse the night before so we could witness the sunrise later on and in a more awakened state. Since Gather Green is situated among nature and wildlife, at the moment there are limitations on food preparations on the grounds. They're in the process of delivering more food options for next season, but for now, there's a cute breakfast accommodation situation. And for the coffee lovers, they definitely got you covered. Oh my gosh, this is so smart. It smells so good. That is some good coffee. Hey there, Richters. It's day two at Gather Green. Still super quiet. We are still the only ones on the property. But we got a chance to speak with Amna and Jackie, the owners um, and designers of this beautiful space. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can check out that video when it launches um, so you can learn a little bit more about this beautiful space. The pavilion serves a number of purposes, so there's really no limit to what can be done in this event space or on the grounds. There are fully furnished, well-lit, his and hers suites that are perfect for getting ready for the big event, no matter what that is. Having an indoor meeting space upstairs, a commercial kitchen, and a number of private bathrooms, the pavilion provides everything necessary for a premier event. In addition to this, the owners kept an eco-friendly mindset around the design of Gather Green. Many of the elements, as much as possible, were recycled and locally sourced from their own grounds, including the shale used to pave the walkway around the pavilion, which came from the quarry. There are also a number of boulders, courtesy of that same quarry, that have been purposefully situated around the grounds to double as bars and tables used to hold cocktails and culinary delights as guests are entertained throughout the pavilion's surroundings. And while I'm sure the first thing that comes to mind is weddings, Gather Green is also the ideal destination for corporate retreats and company outings too. As our time at Gather Green came to an end, we realized how hungry we were. There were plenty of solid recommendations made by the owners, Jackie and Amna, but at the mention of all day breakfast, we were sold on a spot called Gracie's. Gracie's is a cute luncheonette that uses locally sourced in season ingredients and makes everything fresh from scratch, even down to the ketchup. I'm a sucker for cute spaces with a view, so I loved walking around the dining room, taking in the vintage vibes and the retro interior design. We arrived right before they started getting busy, so we were able to get some of the best seats in the house. So we're about to head back to Jersey, but before we did that, we had to grab a bite to eat. Ooh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> Your sandwich looks like an owl. <laughs> it does. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there anything I can help for you? All about perfect timing. If you like this video, hit the little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.